this is the port for the reverse, and this is the port for the forward. And what I'm most concerned about is the power on the reverse side. I don't want too much on the front because uh, on smaller bolts and things, I don't want to snap things off. Right here is the the motor, and here is the back plate. And the air comes out of here, goes into the back plate here, and then routes the air up to through this channel here to either the, the forward or reverse side of the motor where the inlets are. It appears that these channels here allow air to come in through and push the veins out. These are the veins here. It's the part that rides on the inside of the cylinder to make the engine or motor spin. So the air comes in, helps push those up, and the air comes either in one side or the other. This side's the reverse side. Pushes the air in on the veins. Kind of rides like that. And then as the veins push out, the ear pushes the cylinder thickening one way or the other. Clean this up, maybe increase the, the radius of this a little bit further to keep the ear pressure pushing on the vein a little more without any restriction. A little further before it hits, gets to that exhaust. As it comes, it comes through the hole, it goes through there, and it kind of has the same concept on the, the other side of the rotor, and uh, I would try to do those equal on the front and the back. Maybe try to get that hole a little larger, this is the back portion of the motor, it's the part that goes on the inside. There's really not much to do with that that I can see. Maybe clean that up where the exhaust comes out. But probably just leave that pretty much as it is. These are pretty good channels so I don't know that there's a lot that I would do to this. Maybe if I, if I end up uh, drilling these holes out here a little bit Maybe I'll match them up to this. I haven't decided totally if I'm going to do that. There's this uh, slight gap here between this cylinder and the inside of the gun itself. And the air basically comes out of these holes, works its way around, and then it exits two exhaust holes in the bottom there, one on each side. I've already bored those out a little bit. I may possibly see if I can't go a little further as long as I don't drill into another port or something. But I'm thinking on this, because there's only so much space here to throw this in the lathe, and maybe uh, take a couple passes at it and reduce the outer diameter of this, which would reduce the resistance on the air going to the exhaust ports. I really don't know if that's going to make that big a difference because it's, it may already have pretty good flow already, but it's not going to hurt anything. I like can modifications see. done. I drilled the exhaust holes out about two drill sizes bigger just to uh, free up a little more space for airflow. I don't know if that'll really make a difference or not. I increased the size of the reverse port and I also notched it here. You can see that. Notched it there 
and I also put this in the lathe. This is the uh, cylinder for the motor, and I took about half the material off, roughly, that was on the outside diameter of this. So that actually, this is in back, I'm putting this in backwards just to show you. But, see that there's a pretty decent gap all the way around now to where before it was, it was probably about half that so that should make an improvement I uh, here's the airports I expanded them made them a little longer I did it with both of them mostly on the reverse though I was able to get a drill bit and kind of clean these holes out a little bit. I didn't do a whole lot to them, but they, they're cleaned up both sides. Made the exhaust holes bigger. They're about two drill bits to see here. Bigger. On the reverse side, you know, I notched it out pretty good. And I increased the size of the ports pretty significantly put it in here you can see where I notched it here to where these would match up and then they match up with the port here as well and you can see I kind of open that up to the same size as the reverse port right here right there So that's basically everything that I did with the, the motor portion. When I added a part, I got to looking at the trigger and I got to thinking that I could probably improve on that a little bit. And I snapped it off in the lathe, so I had to make a new one. And uh, how I got this one this far without breaking it before, I have no idea, but it snapped right away when I tried this time. This here is from a hardened bolt. I had to make it out of a hardened bolt because everything I tried just kept breaking on me. But uh, I tapered it up a lot higher and I, because I noticed the, it looked like it would benefit having this tapered more and having the narrow portion go up further than what it was going. So I made a new one. Give this another shot. Sounds better. It doesn't really seem to mean a whole lot, I guess. Sounds a lot stronger, feels a lot stronger, but still can't remove the lug nuts. For <coughs> reference, this is what the lug nuts were ins installed with. <coughs> I always install them on the number two setting for putting them on. And this wrench that I modified still can't take off the nuts. It's set at that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna loosen them up and then tighten them on the first setting and then see if it can get them off. Just so I have some idea of what it's doing. <laughs>
first setting, this thing doesn't even feel like it's doing anything. So, if this one can't take them off, on the from the number one setting, then there's not a whole lot of hope for this thing, I don't think. taking them off <laughs> when they're put on with the first setting of the of the big gun so I guess the lesson learned on this story was no matter probably no matter what you do to modify this you're never gonna get close to even coming to the power this thing puts out so this is one of them. This is Harbor Freight also. I think it's called the Earthquake or something like that. But that's probably one of the better things that Harbor Freight sells. So, it was worth the experiment. And I, I learned, I really was kind of disappointed. I hoped it would do much better than that. But, you know, live and learn. It was worth trying it. So, did make improvement. I mean, it's definitely better than what it was, but it's it's still rather disappointing. So, it's back on. Till next time.